Hello students, welcome back. So this is the continuation of chapter number 10, images, links and frame in HTML. Okay. So in our last class, I have showed you how to insert the images in a web page. So in today's content, we will go through creating a link in a web page. Okay. So your today's content is linking the web page means connecting one web page with another web page we'll discuss about the and anchor tag and its property and how to create the text as hyperlink and images as a hyperlink okay so let me show you one simple web page here before going through the activity here okay so see here we have already gone through this web page uh, in the last class i just want to focus you all in this particular area okay so if you see here the click here for school library or gallery okay so it has been underlined and it is colorful so wherever the text you see as a underline and if you take the mouse pointer in that particular text you see that the pointer turns into the hand means it is a link it is a hyperlink okay so if you click on that particular text you will move to the next page means this page gets connected with the next page okay so we call this as a hypertext not only the text you can also create the picture as a hyperlink now you can see the image of the logo if i take the mouse pointer here see that the pointer turns into the shape of the hand okay it means this is also a hyperlink now let me click on this hypertext you can see that you have moved to another web page okay similarly i have created the link here so if i click on this uh, text i'll move back to my home page now see if i click on the picture as well you will move to the next page now what happens here is i have created two pages two web pages okay this is one web page and along with this i have created one more web page this is the second web page so overall here i have just used only two web pages to show you how to inter uh, connect or link one page with another page okay now let us move back now let us discuss a few content here okay first linking our web page so i have already said that the you see that the web page contain millions and sorry website contains uh, millions and millions of web pages okay and you see that all these web pages are connected with each other they are linked with each other another okay so you can see that html has a powerful features of linking this page together okay so we call these features as hyperlinking okay so using this hyperlink we can open any linked web page on the internet in no time now see there are two types of linking one is internal linking and another is external linking okay now what is internal linking now see when one part of the web page is linked to another sections of the same page now see here when you click on a particular link it will connect you to the another content okay but in the same page in the same web page okay so we call this as internal linking so when you click on one page you move to another page in the same website or maybe in the different website so we call this type of linking as a external linking okay now let us see the anchor tag now you see that in html anchor tag okay this is the symbol for anchor tag that is a with the opening angular bracket and a closing angular bracket okay it is used to mark the text or the image as an hyperlink so i have already showed you <coughs> before that wherever you will see the shape of the hand those text or images is as hyperlink okay so this will be marked by the anchor tag a tag okay so you can see that the anchor tag is a container tag so you need to close this tag after completing your line okay because this closing tag marks the end of the link okay now anchor tag has only one attribute we call it as href okay it means hyperlink ref ref means reference so we can also call it as a hyperlink reference that is href okay so href is the attribute of the anchor tag and it will define the document to which the link links means this href uh, this href will let you know exactly where you want to go where the page should get connected okay so this is the syntax to create a 
hyperlink a href is equal to value value means you have to mention the name of the page where exactly you want to go okay so this is a hyper text okay so it can be a text it can be a picture now you see that there are three types of link that you can create or you can move to one we call this as a absolute url okay so it points to another website suppose say if you want to go to google then we will mention it like this way www.google.com another is relative url so what will happen is this relative url if you use the relative url you will move to the file within the website okay within the same website okay now one very important thing to notice here that you can see that in the syntax given ever the text click here is a hypertext okay so this text contains the information that is linked on the same web page or other web page and as i've already uh, said that the web browser will display this text as underlined and colored okay now let us start with our activity here so let me show you the source code of this file okay now if you see here this particular area we have already discussed in our last class okay so we will not go through this one now let us go i just want to uh, concentrate all of you in this particular area in this two line okay here you can see that i have used a a is an anchor tag okay and h ref is a attribute of an anchor tag okay so that is hyperlink reference so h ref is equal to gallery dot html means what I want to do is, if I click on this text here, click here for school gallery. So, this text will get displayed, it will be underlined, and if I take the mouse pointer here, the pointer will turn into the shape of the head, okay? So, if I click on this text, where will I go? I'll go in this web page, that is, gallery that gallery.html so you have to create one web page with the name gallery.html so this is just the example you can create your own page with own name and with the own information okay so as i have already said that this is a container tag so you need to close the anchor here okay and next here you can see that i have created the link with the image here okay so i so in the last class i have already uh, taught you how to insert the image in a web page so i have one image with the name logo.png okay so i have mentioned the height and i have mentioned the width so even if i click on this picture where will i go i'll move in the same page that is gallery.html means if i means i have created the link for gallery that HTML, okay but see this page okay you have to give another name for this page so what is the name i have given to this page is home page okay so i will save this page with the name as a home page so you can see this is my home page okay and in the home page i have written here click here to or click here for school gallery gallery and i have also created created a link with a picture so when you click both on this text or when you click on this image you will move back to the next page okay the name of this page is gallery.html okay now let me show you the source code of this page now you can see that this is the source code of the second page that is gallery.html okay now if you concentrate in this part you can see i have given the text school gallery okay so you can see a school gallery is here okay and the color of the school gallery is purple here okay so you can see that the, i have given the color as purple and i have aligned the text in the center so you will see a school gallery in the center and these things i have already discussed in our last class okay now again what i have done here is i have inserted the image one image is with the name schoolpeak.jpg okay and i have given the height and width and i have inserted one more image with the name pick 2 jpg okay so if you see here you can see the two picture this is school pick dot jpg and this is pick one dot jpg okay so accordingly the two picture has been inserted here 
now what i have again done here is now if i click on this page okay there's one text click here for home page then where will i go if i click on this page i will move back to the home.html page means these two pages are interconnected with each other okay so finally i have created a link here using the h -ray. and where will i go i'll go to the home page dot html if i click here click here for home page okay so if i click on this text i'll move back to this page okay so here overall i have created two pages okay the name of this page is gallery.html and the name of this uh, web page is homepage.html okay so i have simply used the a href okay properties and you just need to mention the um, name of the web page you can just uh, uh, type the text or you can also link it with the help of the picture okay now before this i just want to show you one more thing here now you see that my both the web page are in the same folder okay this is the gallery web page and this is the web home web page so what i have done here is if you can see here i have simply returned here gallery.html or home.html now suppose if both the pages are not together okay if one page is in another directory and if one page is in another di directory in that case you have to mention the whole part of that HTML file exactly where it is located. Okay, so that is why whenever you create a HTML page, it is better to uh, put all the web page and all your content in a same folder. Okay, so I hope you have understood it how to uh, link one web page with another web page. Okay, so this is all in today's content. I hope you have understood it. Kindly go through it. Okay, open the notepad type the code and do practice it at home thank you students